West Rico versus PSJA, the 2023 playoffs. Lady Panthers reached the Elite Eight last year. This year, it's a new team, new journey. Game one is at PSJA. The tempo is set by Mia Rodriguez in the first. One on, and the junior rips one to left. And it's out of here. Two run homer. West Rico strikes first, two to nothing. To the second, with two on, two outs. Andre Ortiz with a base hit up the middle. Alexis Solis rounds third and scores easily. RBI single, three to nothing. Next batter, Lola Reyes. What a series for the sophomore. She slaps this one for a base hit. Two more runs across the plate. Lady Panthers with a five to nothing lead after two innings. Third inning, a big one for Waslico with two on. Alexis Solis gets a hold of one over the left fielder's head and all the way to the wall. In the score is Hannah Montelongo and they wave Kyra Sosa. It's a two run triple for Solis. Lady Panthers in control, seven to nothing. Same frame, nine to nothing now, two on. And look what Lola Reyes does. Base hit on a 2-2 count, right field, and it goes all the way to the corner. Two runs score easily. There goes Reyes to third, and they wave her home. Look at her base running. Beautiful job, and she has herself an inside the park home run. Five RBIs on the night, 12 to nothing, Waslico. This was more than enough support for Madeline Cantu. The freshman making her first playoff start, her defense was remarkable. The outfielders making great catches, starting with De La Hinojosa at left. Along with the bat, Reyes coming through at center field. Mia Rodriguez was busy as well. Eight plays going her way in game one, including this line out. There were no strikeouts by either pitcher, Weslico with a 12-5 win in game one. We move on to game two. This was moved from Weslico to PSJ Memorial due to the severe storm on Friday night. It didn't matter. First inning, one on, PSGA shows bunt, and Alexis Solis sneaks into the camera and comes up with a terrific catch. Coming in from third base for the game's first out. The Lady Bears would catch in though on a throwing air, so Westlake trails one to nothing. But that was short lived, because just like in game one, the Lady Panther offense starts fast. Here, Lola Reyes puts the ball in play, but the throw to first is off the mark. Here comes Andrea Ortiz and she will slide home to tie the game at one. Reyes ends up at third, and here we go. Next batter, Alexis Solis. Four hits in the series, she singles home Reyes. Westlico takes the lead and doesn't look back. Two to one now, same inning, now three to one. And Elizabeth Craig, she had big hits in last year's run. The junior with four hits in the series, here she goes to right field as two runs cross the plate to cap off a five run first. Lady Bears answer with three in the second to get within one. So in the bottom of the second, the Lady Panthers respond as well. One already in, Clarissa Mejia with great piece of hitting. Drives a base hit to left. Emily Galvan scores from third, seven to four, Waslico. Few batters later, Lexi Escamilla, after going hitless in game one, has a monster game two. This hit goes to the gap at right center. One run is in, a second rounds third, and look at Escamilla, right behind, and we have a second inside the park home run in the series. Escamilla drives in three, capping another five run inning, 10 to four, Westlico. We move to the third, and it's the defense helping Madeline Cantu. This is a four, six, three double play. Rodriguez to Escamilla, to Craig, perfectly executed. Speaking of Cantu, the freshman gained valuable experience. The Lady Bears were tough. No pitcher had a strikeout until right here. This retired PSGA's fourth, leaving a base runner. 14 were stranded overall in the series. This was key. Fifth inning, Lady Panthers up nine. Lexi Escamilla sends Westlico to the area round with this base hit to right. Kalissa Izaguirre touches home plate. The Lady Panthers overcome a switch in sight and had to come back to the PSGA area, but sweep the Lady Bears 15 to five in five innings in game two. Next up, a trip to the San Antonio area for a matchup against Eagle Pass. Reaction after the game. A lot of work at practice towards our offense. And, you know, be, you know, I'm just happy that, you know, whatever we've been doing at practice was, you know, came out here to the field and we were able to execute it. 
Um, I feel great. You know, I was a little bit bummed out the last time going over four, but then I just remembered like to throw it away because you know it's a new game, new day, and let me just I just wanted to see what I could do for my team today. So you guys had 12 runs yesterday, and they all came in the first three innings, and then today 15 runs. So what is it about your offense? What is it about the lineup that makes you guys so dangerous? I think it's just we we know we can do the things we do, getting the 12 runs and getting 15 runs and practicing and practicing and just also believing. It's just the thought that, okay, if I don't get a hit, this person will get a hit. If they don't get a hit, this person will back me up. You know, if I get a hit, they're going to get a hit. You know, it's just having that trust, believing in everyone. You know, the series was a lot of fun. You know, as a team, we had a lot of energy, and the big hits just add to the energy, not just by me, but by the whole team. We just were all pumped up and just excited. We're excited to move on to the next round.